The Sisters, Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary IHM, is a Catholic religious institute of sisters. It is divided among three separate congregations. The original community of the institute is headquartered in Monroe, Michigan. The Mother House currently houses more than 200 sisters, more than 100 of whom require supportive care. The sisters originally began as teachers, but their ministries have become more diverse, including, education in grade schools, high schools, colleges and universities, pastoral care in hospitals, long-term care facilities and other health care settings, parish ministry and outreach into poor communities and individuals in need, social services for poor and homeless families, working with those with AIDS, providing spiritual direction and retreats, advocacy efforts to help people get the resources needed to fully participate in society, programs and services for older adults in a variety of settings, and work to improve the environment. History The beginnings of the Institute came about in 1845 shortly after Father Louis Florent Gillet, C.S.'s, R., arrived in Monroe, Michigan, to become the pastor of St. Mary Parish. On November 10, Gillett and Teresa Maxis Dushiman, a member of the Oblate Sisters of Providence in Baltimore, established the institute in Monroe. Father Gillett found that Monroe had no school for the daughters of the descendants of French Canadians, most of whom were Catholic. He petitioned the local bishop, Peter Paul Lefevre, coadjutor bishop of Detroit, for a religious institute to assume teaching duties. The bishop declined, so Gillett invited three women to form a new religious congregation, which would become known as the Sisters, Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The co-foundress and first religious superior of the Monroe community was Mother Teresa Maxis Dushiman, one of the first members of Oblate Sisters of Providence, the first religious congregation established in the country for women of African descent. On January 15, 1846, the first St. Mary Academy opened with 40 students. In 1858, a mission was established to serve the German-speaking Catholic children of Pennsylvania at the request of the Bishop of Philadelphia, the now sainted John Newman. As a result of this mission, a dispute broke out between the bishops of Detroit and Philadelphia regarding their jurisdiction over the sisters. Mother Teresa was faulted by Bishop Lefevre for this and was removed from her office of Superior General. She was then sent to the mission in Pennsylvania. Shortly after this, in 1859, the sisters in that state separated from the community in Michigan and were established as an independent congregation under the Bishop of Philadelphia. This congregation later further split into two more, one based in Scranton, Pennsylvania founded in 1871, and the other in Chester County, Pennsylvania. In 1920, St. Mary Academy and College had outgrown its facilities and the Institute made plans to construct a new college facility. The sisters initially planned to build the new campus in Monroe, but Bishop Michael Gallagher invited them to build in nearby Detroit. In Detroit the college would have a larger field of influence and offer a Catholic higher education to thousands of young women who might otherwise not have such an opportunity. The sisters built their new college in Detroit and named it Marygrove College. On June 3, 1929, St. Mary Academy in Monroe was destroyed by fire. This caused extreme difficulties for the IHM Institute, as they were burdened with heavy debts from the building of Marygrove College and the cost of rebuilding the Mother House and Academy in Monroe was prohibitive. Additionally, the Great Depression of 1929 began soon afterward, which only added to their financial woes. Nevertheless, the Institute finished the reconstruction and moved into their new facilities in 1932. The congregation went on to establish Marian and Immaculata High Schools in the Detroit area and Immaculate Heart of Mary High School in Westchester, Illinois. In 1948, the Michigan congregation began its first missionary work outside the continental United States when the sisters opened a mission in Calle, Puerto Rico. In 2008, the sisters opened Detroit Cristo Rey High School and co-sponsor it with the congregation of St. Basil. Topic educational institutions topic topic Schools topic Detroit Cristo Rey High School, Detroit, Michigan co-sponsored Our Lady of Guadalupe Middle School, Detroit, Michigan co-sponsored Our Lady of Lords Academy, Miami, Florida Villa Maria Academy, Immaculata Lower School and Malvern High School, Pennsylvania Colegio Villa Maria Miraflores, Lima, Peru Colegio Villa Maria La Planique, Lima, Peru Villa Maria Academy founded in 1940, Santiago de Chile, Chile 
Marion High School, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan Colegio San Antonio, Bella Vista, Peru, founded on 1928 Epiphany Catholic School, Miami, full-defunct Girls Catholic Central High School, Detroit Michigan Hall of the Divine Child, Monroe, Michigan Immaculata High School, Detroit Michigan Immaculate Heart of Mary High School, Westchester, Illinois absorbed by St. Joseph High St. Mary's Academy, Monroe, Michigan merged with Monroe Catholic Central High to form St. Mary Catholic Central High School Topic Colleges and Universities Topic Immaculata University, near Philadelphia Pennsylvania Marygrove College, Detroit Michigan Marywood University, Scranton Pennsylvania Topic In the Arts Topic In 2012, the Monroe campus was used for filming numerous scenes of Arnaud Desplikin's movie Jimmy P. Psychotherapy of a Plains Indian 2013, which was entered in the 2013 Cannes Film Festival, depicting the now-vanished Winter Veteran Hospital of Topeka, Kansas. References External links The IHM Sisters in Monroe, Michigan